uh, hello friend uh, welcome back to this series uh, i think uh, in the last part we have installed the prerequisites and uh, prerequisites of sccm 2012 and uh, an sccm server and also we have checked with uh, running the script and it automatically uh, you know detect all those things for, for the prerequisites and whatever the things are installed uh, that uh, ha has been skipped and what are the remaining that is installed i think we have done all these things and also we have done the uh, schema extent and that is the main part of you know sccm one of the best part and the main part of sccm without that it's not a complete so you have to be do that even the script is not uh, you know do these things okay so go to the ccm server now so the, now one more thing we need to install for the edk i mean kit okay windows kit you need to be install you can download from the microsoft sites right and here uh, the setup is there i can install or you can install also okay um ADK setup uh, this one yeah next uh, not required join the customer experience improvement program that is not required now so click over the license agreement uh, here uh, we need to SQL Server 2012 Express, it is not required because we will um, um, install. And uh, yeah, these things are required. Also, Volume Active Management tool is not required. DMT Deployment Tool, Windows uh, Pre and Memory User Stretch uh, Migration. Yeah, these things are uh, required. This tool automated and manage activation of Windows uh, Server and Office is a gem and you must also install VTM requires connection of SQL Server site or install including Express Edition. Okay, these things are only needed. So click over the install, it will start the installing, it will take some time to uh, complete. Uh, this is also requirement, uh, you know, at the time of OS deployment, uh, uh, this thing is required. Uh, ADK. This is one of the prerequisites of uh, SCCMR. Okay. So, you know, you just uh, point out and uh, let me uh, show you that also, which we have done. This is the diagram. Uh, right uh, yeah i have written also all these things if you look at uh, we have uh, done the sccm prerequisite installed by script or something we have done manually but you can do the script also but it will take time okay that's the reason i done the manual and run the script if anything missing and that is done and install sql server but uh, instead of sql one more thing uh, we have done which is uh, extend right directory extend like schema we have extended and uh, before installing the install sql we can uh, now i'm installing adk once the adk install we will install the sql not an issue just copy it and uh, here paste okay this things uh, we will do okay then we will start a uh, system center uh, and this part also right create system management container for system and give rights to container that also we have done Oh, sorry control x uh, when we done at that this time right and uh, we have give extend the active directory schema that also we done after create the container we have done this thing right and uh, extend the schema is correct now we are installing adk then we will install sql I think we will install 2008 as of now. Not an issue. The schema install SCM 2012 R2. Okay. And extend the schema. Okay. So let's go to the SCM server. Yeah. Still, it is completed 80% and uh, I think it will complete it. Yeah launch uh, user guide not required close it so adk part also done now now uh, it's a time to install sql so i have sql here 
SCCM required SQL 2008 so we can run it okay not an issue SCCM required SQL okay it will uh, all the things required things then it will uh, start the installation it's okay We need to wait uh, for some time to complete this thing and till that time I'm pause this video okay I'm sorry what happened yeah I'm pausing this video see uh, the extraction completed uh, so press ok okay so it doesn't complete but one more thing uh, I can tell you like uh, before you know start the SQL SQL first we need to take the snapshot if anything you know goes wrong you know then we can revert back so here I can say post SQL install installation okay take the snapshot okay we'll go to the snapshot uh, we need to wait some time Okay, uh, what's the snapshot you take? Uh, then we will start the installation of SQL. So thanks for watching this video, and you can subscribe my channel to you know getting the new video, and you can thumbs up uh, my if you like my video. Thank you very much. I will see you on the next video.